Hello, my fellow handicappers. This is Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we are going to look at a very interesting topic, an age-old topic. That is, which is more important, handicapping or betting? Before we get going, though, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get all the latest tips, tools, and resources from Weekend Handicapper and WeekendHandicapper.com to help you make money betting on thoroughbred horse racing. Okay, so this, this is always an interesting discussion, argument, whatever you want to call it, but what is more important when it comes to horse racing? And if you're trying to make money on horse racing, which is more important? Where should you spend more of your time? Is it handicapping or is it betting? And if you think about it, that's what horse racing is. If you gamble on horse racing, bet on horse racing, it really comes down to two things. Handicapping of, of trying to find those contenders or those horses that are going to factor in the results and how you're going to bet those contenders or if you're going to bet those contenders. But how are you going to bet? Is it more important to just find, be really skilled and good at finding the contenders and bet them no matter what? Or is it more important knowing what kinds of bets to make with a certain with certain contenders. So let's look at each one of those. Let's get the pros and cons of each one of those. Handicapping. It's a no-brainer that you you I don't care what you bet, if you if you can't isolate those horses that have a, a true shot of either winning or factoring in the top four positions, then it's going to be very difficult to make money in this game. So Handicapping is certainly important, and there's a lot of advocates for that. And some people will just bet horses, no matter what their odds are, what, whatever they go off at. They just want to be right, and that's how they play the game. So you have a, a strong camp or a strong number of people in the camp of saying, look, I don't care. I just want to, if you pick an, a a high enough percentage of winners or, or correct bets, then you're going to come out ahead. But then you got the other side. The, that's the people that focus more on making good bets and, and don't give much emphasis or don't spend too much time handicapping. The thought is there's so much information out there. It's very, I wouldn't say easy, but it's not as hard as it used to be to find those logical contenders that are going to factor in a horse race. And so the public is very good at determining favorites, determining outcomes of, of races. But that doesn't mean you make money. Where you would make money is on the, more the betting side, trying to find the value, trying to find those right combinations of those contenders to end up making some money, to isolate inefficiencies in the market the market in race in horse racing is the wagering pools to find out those inefficiencies and focus more on that more the mathematics more the percentages more the odds than it is spending so much time looking at pretty much all the same information everybody else does when it comes to handicapping so there are strong arguments to be made for both. Who's right? Now, most people will say that, like everything in life, both are very important. You need both. And absolutely, that's true. But is there one side or the other that is more important? Do you feel like handicapping is where you need to spend most of your time and energy? Or is it more the, ba the wagering side, the betting side, is where you need to spend more time and energy. Me, personally, I tend to fall on the side of the betting. I think if somebody is a really good wagerer, constructs the tickets really well, looks for those horses, those contenders that have value, I think you're going to come out ahead more than you would if you were just primarily good at picking winners. 
It's very difficult. We all can be right a lot. A good number of we being the wagering public. Remember, the, the uh, crowd picks a lot of, they're very consistent. They're, this called wisdom of the crowd. Uh, that phenomenon or that concept of where a bunch of people, the wagering public, are pretty good at determining the right odds of who's going to be the top horses in a race and whether you look at selections of the daily racing form or if you're you know in your track program if you have that public handicappers picks well they usually do a pretty good job of picking the log most logical horses that are going to factor in so that's why i'm more on the camp of the wagers side the betting side is because i think that's where you can really exploit things, make things play to your advantage. I think, to me, that's where you can find those pr potential profits. How do you structure tickets? You include certain horses that maybe others don't. Well, that's not necessarily handicapping smarts because it's more of a strategic wager perspective, how you structure tickets. Uh, who to leave out as far as based on odds or who do you think is going to be left off of a ticket or who do you think nobody's going to include for second or third in a Zachter trifecta? Well, that doesn't really come down to handicapping. That comes down to, okay, the public's probably going to put these logical, based on their handicapping, these logical horses in these positions. Who can I include? that nobody else is going to think of. So that's why I think the wagering side, the betting side is a little bit more important because we all probably know some people that are really good handicappers and can look at a form of pr track program and pick out the most probable horses that's going to win. But that doesn't mean they're going to make some money. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have somebody else that you know, probably isn't the best handicapper, but does a really good job of betting in certain situations when there's values, when there's an advantage, or exploiting the inefficiency, whether it's a exact a probable that's paying a lot more than it should, etc. Uh, so that's why I think on the betting side is a little bit more important. And after you get a firm grasp of handicapping, I think the difference is is going to come in how you structure tickets, how you make bets, when you make bets, when you don't make bets. That's my personal opinion. Is that the correct way? Heck no, it's not the correct way. But what I would love to hear from you is where do you stand? Do you see handicapping being the primary focus of your game and that's the most important aspect and maybe not so much the betting? Or are you more on the side of I think the real difference is going to come when you make good bets and make structure good tickets because all the information that we all have access to pretty much, whether it's race replays or past performances and data we all have access to and we look at pretty much the same things. So where your difference is going to be is wagering and betting on the right horses that offer the best value and hold the inefficiencies in the wagering pools. I would love to hear where you stand on this, this topic, this issue. If you like, go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know if you prefer handicapping over betting or betting over handicapping. It's a very interesting topic that has been going on for decades. I'm sure it will keep going on for decades, but I am very curious to hear what you where you side in this argument so go ahead and leave a comment below if you would and of course i appreciate it if you subscribe to this youtube channel if you hadn't already hit that notification bell so you can get all the latest tips tools and resources from weekend handicapper and weekendhandicapper.com i can't wait to hear from you see where you side on this side of this particular issue this topic and until next time Happy handicapping and smart wagering.